Welcome back. I am super excited to have the camera picked up in my hands. I've taken two weeks off since Vlogmas. I feel rested. I feel like I started 2022 the way I've wanted. We are going to jump in where we left off and it is Saturday, it's a little after 11. I actually just ate my lunch. I did a really hard workout this morning, part strength training and then a Tabata ride on the Peloton and I didn't eat before, so I was feeling a little lightheaded afterwards. So I just ate my lunch, I had some tomato soup. Steven is out for a walk. He has had a little bit of a rough week, so I'm going to do a little pizza making together tonight, get a really good bottle of wine and kind of give him an opportunity to have like a little date night at home. So we're gonna go and pick up those things while he's out taking Bubba's for a walk. Have an update for you though that happened outside. So a lot of you have noticed that we have like this huge bank in our backyard. We love it, it goes up into the woods and we had it completely cleared and aerated this week. So it's all been cut down, any little trees have been grinded out all of the compost was taken and we're thinking of seeding it with some wildflowers and grasses and the goldenrod will come back and the Queen Anne's lace will come back, but I'm super excited about what this could look like in the spring. They were so quick at getting it done, but we're really pumped about it. So we have errands to run, things to do. I'll show you a little bit around the house because all of Christmas is taken down but we gotta get these errands taken care of so we can get back home safe and sound. I got my KN95 mask, I'm gonna throw that on, be super safe, be super quick, Trader Joe's, maybe pick up a gift for Steven and then get home. I also have a nail appointment later today. It is super cold out, so I am bundled up in my long coat. I just wanted to get some water. I've been doing so much better at drinking a ton of water each day. I'm just gonna throw it in this little Starbucks cup. So many questions about how I feel about our Tesla. Words cannot describe how much I love it. To know my reference points for cars, Steven and I have had our fair share. I have had Hondas, a BMW, a Mercedes, two Volvos, and now a Tesla. This is my favorite car. I would stick with them. I would say if I don't have a Tesla, I drive a Volvo because that is also the second favorite car I've ever had. But we absolutely love this car. We've had no problems with it. We've been really lucky. Also got to share, I have gone through so many bottles of this, but if it is available, I got better shipping and price on Amazon, but it is the Times Frasier Fur Hand Sanitizer. I also have it in a smaller one that I sometimes take in with me, but I have been buying the large one and just keeping it right in my cup holder, and it smells so good. It reminds me of Christmas and the holidays, and it helps keep that season alive. All right, friends, we are back. Steven is upstairs taking a nap, Bubba's here. I picked up some things for our pizza. I actually have my dough here resting. Have it in a bowl with some olive oil. I made two batches. We're gonna make Bubby a little small pizza tonight too. And then I went to a local bookstore called Book Culture and I picked up this neck wrap. And then I've been super excited to read The School for Good Mothers. And then I also picked up Mastering the Art of French Cooking. I actually made Julia Child's Beef Bourguignon for New Year's and it was amazing. I also got a bottle of Camus for tonight. It's our favorite wine. It's our go-to. And then I got some San Marzano peeled tomatoes for sauce. I also love that they're doing the tab tops now. Some sliced portobellas. I'm gonna make some brownies for ice cream later. But I'm going to do a flower arrangement for my coffee table. I already prepped my water. It's lukewarm and I put the plant food in, dissolved it, and then I always put a cap full of bleach. And I'm going to show you how to make your hydrangeas last. I did this last time and they lasted for like two weeks, no joke. I love to do my arrangements right on the edge of the counter. That way I can kind of measure using this extra space here where I want it to be. I want these to sit really low. So I'm actually going to go right above this little nodule. You wanna make sure that you're like always in between nodules. So I'm gonna actually go, if I want this low, 
I'm gonna go right about here and I'm going to snip that at an angle. Now, we're not done. Hydrangeas need a lot of water. So now I'm going to take my paring knife and I'm going to strip away some of the stem. Just like old school days of like sharpening a pencil. I'm just gonna keep going to like the white of that stem is showing. Perfect. That allows it to absorb so much more water than it normally would. All right, I just went ahead and added my herbs to it just so they bloom a little bit in the oil. And now I'm going to add two spoonfuls of tomato paste. I'm just going to bring that together. This is the easiest. Once you start making your own sauce, there's nothing really better. I'm just going to let this break down just a little bit. It'll help keep my sauce a little thicker. Uh, the San Marzano tomatoes tend to be a little bit more watery. All right, I'm just doing one can. That's all we'll need. And then just letting these tomatoes break down using the back of my spatula. Sometimes I even just take my potato masher and mash them down. I might actually do that right now. So just take my potato masher and give them a good stomp. Now the only other thing I'm going to hit this with is a little bit of sugar. I think it really helps balance out the acidity of the tomato. And then I'm going to let this come up to a boil and then simmer. And then I'm also going to let it cool down a lot before I use it on top of my pizza. All right, friends, so the sauce is coming together. I'm gonna pour it off probably in 10 minutes. I have my oven preheating to 500. And now I will show you what I do. I bought two very well seasoned now pizza stones and they fit side by side perfectly in my oven. And now I'm just gonna leave these in here for like 30 minutes and I'm gonna let them get really nice and hot. The key to getting a really good at home pizza is giving it plenty of time to get your stones nice and hot. We will get out our pizza pail. I got a lot of this stuff off of Amazon. I will definitely share all those things with you and link them below. While those are going, I have all of our little assembly toppings ready to go. So I have some extra flour for our board. The sauce is sitting. Our dough looks amazing. And then I hit some green peppers and mushrooms in the pan just to take the bite off of them. We have some pepperoni, some cheese, but we are all set. I also, while we're doing it, have like a little charcuterie plate going. Right, Bubby? Uh-oh. Right? We're gonna make Bubby a little tiny pizza too. Are we gonna make you a pizza? A large one. No. We'll get, we'll get a little tiny one. So Steven, you can go first. Um, okay, you yeah. have to put flour on this. Not a lot. Like, maybe, that's not all of that. That's probably pretty good. Okay. Now, take your hand, smooth it all around. I've already washed my hands. Yes. Yeah. Smooth it all around. This is so your dough doesn't stick. Okay. Okay. Put like a little bit of flour on this. Okay. Okay. Take your dough. Sprinkle a little flour on top of it. And 
and I'll just start rolling it out and follow your circles. How big is this? Well, you just follow. I usually go to, like, this one. Okay. The 12, 12 inch? Yeah. You can use the rolling pen. Oh. That's a good idea. <laughs> If it's not a perfect circle, babe, it's fine. Yeah. We went ahead and baked them for about five minutes in the oven, just so the uh, crust gets crispy. Her Stevens, good job, babe. You've never done it before. This. When I first did it, it was really rough too, and mine isn't that great. Well, yeah, I know, but this is this piece here that looks like it's, mm. Whatever. It's okay. It's going to be delicious. And you're going to cover it all up. That's true. All right. So go ahead. Start putting any toppings you want. That's homemade sauce. Do I put it like right on here? Yes. And then like use the back of the spoon oh, yeah. like that. Mm. That's a sauce spoon. Well, yeah. Did we get this with the... um. The, the, the paddle? No, I bought it. Oh. It's from Williams Sonoma. They don't make them anymore, actually. The sauce spoons? Yeah, they stopped making them. Maybe they make them in Italy. Good job! There we go. Okay. There we go. You help yourself to whatever. He, Steven will be simple cheese and pepperoni. I am going to add peppers and mushrooms to mine. Oh, my goodness. Pizzas are done. Alexa off. There's Stevens. There's mine. They look delicious. We'll save some for you. All right, we're going to let these cool. We're going to cut them up. We'll have lunch for tomorrow. It's perfect. <laughs> I have had a hat on all day. Um, we had such a nice night. It's like 8.30 going on 9. I think we're going to head up and read. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about... New year and the word that I chose for the year, some planning, some things I'm trying this year, some things that I'm thinking, some things that I've already learned this week. And I'm super excited to just talk through all that stuff with you and then also see what else we get into tomorrow. And it's just good to be back. This is like the little vlog to like ease back into content. And I'm super excited because I'm already thinking of some things I want to do in 2022. Let's end today on that rhyme, and I will see you all tomorrow. All right, friends, we are about to get cruising. I thought I'd show you. I have to go get groceries. I also have to go to the dairy. Here is my meal plan for the week. So Monday is risotto and salad, chicken fajitas Tuesday, a pasta bake with salad on Wednesday, chicken and steamed broccoli and roasted potatoes Thursday, pot stickers with fresh veggie spring rolls, pizza night on Saturday and Sunday. I have a half day on Friday and a long weekend because of Martin Luther King Day the following Monday. So I'm going to actually pick up my Saturday, Sunday stuff, probably Friday after work. So I don't have to do like a whole big pickup today. I do have to get to the dairy, but this is the planner. I'm in. I am loving it. Clearly, this week isn't filled out yet, but last week is all filled in. I'm going to talk to you guys about this in a little bit, along with a bunch of other stuff, but we got to get rocking and rolling. I have my other camera set up in the car, so we will chat. Got my wallet, got my mask. We're ready to go. We had such a nice evening last night, just relaxing and chilling and all of those things. But it is Sunday. I just showed you guys our plan for the week. So we are going to go get all of that stuff done, bought, and taken care of. I'm excited about this week's meal prep. It is simple stuff. The pasta bake on Thursday night. I can prep on Wednesday and have it all done. We are officially a week into 2022. I wanna definitely hear in the comments below if you are a resolution maker, and if so, what are those? Are you a word picker? Do you not do any of those things? And if you need to make a change,
change, you make a change. That is Steven in and out. He doesn't make resolutions like that. I am a word chooser, but I definitely am a goal setter as well for the new year. And my word for 2022, and please flood the comments with your word or the word you end up choosing because you're inspired by this. Um, the word that I chose this year is consistency or consistent because there are lots of things in my life that I do really enjoy. Like I enjoy working out. I enjoy eating healthy. I enjoy certain aspects that I know make me better. The problem is, is I allow other things to get in the way of being consistent with them. So I think about any goal you set for yourself, any aspiration you have, what does it come down to? It comes down to being consistent and working towards it. So that is my plan for this year. I have often thought about like the fad diet or I'm going to do this nonsense. I am not doing any of that this year. I am turning 40 next month. It is, I have learned. <laughs> that doesn't work. So what I've really thought about this year um, is being consistent with mindful eating and the times in which trigger me to be mindless, which if any of you guys have that mindless eating moment, what is that time of day for you? For me, it is the time from getting home to work to making dinner because most of the day I don't have a chance to eat and then I mindlessly eat while getting dinner ready. So I've come up with a couple strategies that I have been using this week to help mitigate that. Having an activity or chore that I have to do the instant I get home, I drink an enormous cup of water on my commute from work to home, and then I try to have healthy snacks already prepped, so if I am going to grab something, it is something worth grabbing. So that is my bad time, and usually that's a product of being so busy during the day that I didn't really eat a good lunch and breakfast during that time. So I wanna be really consistent with that, but I'm doing no crazy diet. I enjoy working out. I love working out. I love getting a sweat on. So for me and my health and fitness and wellness, as long as I'm like being aware and as long as I'm aware of my eating, I really don't have a ton of issues with my weight because I actually enjoy working out. So that is where this idea of consistency is where I have landed. Today is a weird day. It is around 39 degrees. It's a little rainy, but our temperature is supposed to drop significantly all week long. Like single digits is going to be like the high for the week. So it is going to be a cold, cold week, but it's going to be also a very, very great one. And we are going to make it a great, great week. What music are you all listening to right now? I'm kind of like in a weird slump because Christmas is over. So I'm no longer listening to Christmas music and there hasn't been a really great album released to kick off the year. I have kind of been listening to Taylor Swift's Red, her ver Taylor's version. I listen to a little Adele, but like I have listened to those albums so much, I need something fresh. So let me know what all of you are listening to because I need, I need some new music. Super excited to hear that Mandy Moore on Instagram announced that she has some new music coming because I was really happy with her Silver Landings album about two years ago. One thing that I did bust out recently was some Katy Perry music. She's everywhere because of her Vegas residency, which is getting rave reviews. But I busted out some of her music, which I love some good Katy Perry. And I started listening to her Smile album, the last one that came out. It's okay. There are some good bops on there, but I'm kind of in like a music standstill. I'm looking at my screen. I did pull out the Stronger album by Kelly Clarkson because I hadn't listened to that for so long. Oh, that's a good jam out album. It's so good. But yeah, give me some new recommendations because I need some things to listen to. All right, I'm 
gonna find something to listen to. I'm gonna sing obnoxiously, and we are going to get to the Dairy, Trader Joe's, and Wegmans. Oh, I completely drove past Target, but I wanted to stop there too. All right, we're gonna get things taken care of. So I am back from all my errands ran and all of those things. My battery might die soon. I might have to charge really soon, but got all the groceries put away and I grabbed a couple cute things at Target. I'll go ahead and show you what I grabbed. I found this beautiful marble tray. It is from Studio McGee, I didn't look, but it is heavy and substantial and it was $25, which was a really good steal. And then I did grab these vases here because I just loved how they looked. I moved, I moved the flowers up to my bedside table. Then I picked up this oak and lavender candle from hearth and hand but I just like that really simple look and then I always have my ski matches some people were asking where we put our Bubba's painting I actually layered it in with these so this is a vintage photograph I bought at an antique store I DIY this you can look for that video on my channel and then I put Bubba's there with our big diptyque candle and I love that we see it every single morning when we come down the stairs and it just like the colors blend in so well. Then Steven and I took care of the garlands and stuff just a little bit ago and got them all packed away. And then I wanted to keep this somewhat wintry. So I took one of the bell sets that I had and I actually just hung them on the command hook and then put my wreath on top. And this was an old boxwood wreath that I already had. It still feels wintry, um, but also will transition into spring really nicely with the bright green. So went ahead and got the porch all swept. Steven and I have started working on a puzzle and I ended up getting that puzzle board. I'll keep it linked. My sister had it and I loved it. And then these are my puzzle trays. They actually store flat and then you snap the corner. So we got all of our pieces organized. We got the border done and we're going to work on it. It is a Rifle Paper Company 500 piece puzzle. It is Alice in Wonderland. It's so cute. They're my favorite puzzles to do. I also didn't give you guys a nail update. So these are my nails this week. We have a little eyeball, yellow, some dots. I really like them. So those are that this week. So puzzle is happening. All of the things. I'm going to charge you guys for a little bit and then we're going to talk about planners and all of those things. I just finished a 45 minute workout. It was amazing. I did a strength training. I'm trying to alternate strength and cardio because I would do cardio all day long. But I'm going to get showered. We're going to talk about planners and what I'm using and then we're going to wrap up this vlog. All right, friends, I think this is a pretty good view of my planner. So I was going to go to a paper system and then just kept coming back to this because I find it so amazing to work with. So I'm going to link this down below, but it's by Creating with Lucy. I've recommended her a couple times. I posted on Instagram about her. The first thing I did with her was work through her 22 year in action. So I got to pick my word for the year, which is consistent, my verse for the year. And then there was a lot of activities. There were some things I didn't use as far as daily schedules. I was able to create a vision board, all of those things. And then you get into your planner. So let me show you a little bit how this works. Let me go ahead and take the pen off. So if I go to January, I can see all my monthly spreads. So it's very easy. February is here. I haven't populated it yet. If you touch on the date, it takes you to that daily page and then I can touch back and go to the month. So at the end of each month, which is nice, there is a month in review, but I want to show you guys a week. So let's go. This was the third. Let's go to this week. So this is how my week starts. So this was Sunday, this is today, and this is the start of my new week. This document, this weekly meal plan, doesn't come with the planner, but all I did was went online and found a meal template that worked and I imported it as a picture. 
and then I could write on it, it has my shopping list. I carried my iPad in the grocery store and just checked off my things as I got them. So it's so, so incredibly, incredibly helpful. So that's how my week starts. And then I have my wellness tracker in it and I just track gratitude, the focus of the day, hours of sleep, mood, something to look forward to, water, my meals, exercise, win for the day, and then my productivity, stress, motivation. And then I'll show you last week's. Let's go back to last week's. So this was today's all filled out. I haven't filled out my water yet. Um, I actually have some to put input. I also put eating as one and I just color code it as we go. So that is a wellness tracker all done. The other thing that I'm doing this year that's different. So I have my wellness tracker and then this is Monday. I haven't populated my schedule yet. And then on Wednesdays, I'm doing a midweek reflection. This is again, a template that I made and it was what were one to three wins so far this week, what is going well? What needs more attention? What are two to three concrete actions you're going to take? And what do you want to say at the end of the week? So I do that every Wednesday night and that sets me up for Thursday, Friday and beyond. But I am absolutely loving this format. We invest a lot of money in our iPad. So the fact that I'm getting like daily use out of it is really, really nice. Steven is actually doing dinner tonight since I'm doing it all this week. We're just having chicken, veggies, and rice. So it's an easy dinner this evening. And I am going to finish editing this so I can enjoy my night. I'm going to let all of you go. It is good to be back. I hope that you got a little bit from this vlog. We did a little bit of everything. So I'm gonna end this like I end all of them, friends. Take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone until next time, which will be soon.